Right now, as you watch this, artificial intelligence is quietly transforming medicine. It's not hype. It's not science fiction. It's happening in real time, inside labs, hospitals, and even your phone. For over a century, medicine was based on what we could see. The stethoscope, the microscope, the scan. But AI has changed that forever. Because it can see the invisible. It can find disease patterns and data long before symptoms appear. It can predict risk not after, but before you get sick. And that shift from reactive to predictive is the biggest revolution in medicine since the discovery of the germ theory. As a pathologist, I've spent my career studying what disease looks like under a microscope. Now AI is showing me what disease looks like before the microscope ever sees it. Let's be honest, modern medicine is brilliant, but it can be blind. And that's why some people lose hope when disease is caught too late. And sometimes interventions don't work. We can diagnose, operate, and prescribe, but most of the time we act after the problem shows up, after the heart attack, after the cancer is metastasized, or becomes symptomatic after the brain fog. Our healthcare system is reactive. It waits for symptoms. The truth, by the time you feel something, your biology has been shifting for years. AI changes that because AI doesn't get tired. It doesn't get distracted and it can process millions of data points faster than any human ever could. That means we can move from sick care to signal care, from treating disease to listening to the earliest biological whispers of change. So how does AI actually do this? In radiology, AI analyzes medical images, CT scans, MRIs, X-rays, pixel by pixel to find patterns invisible to the human eye. It can spot lung nodules, brain bleeds, or tiny vessel changes that a radiologist might miss because a human eye is not capable of seeing because no human can look at 10 million pixels simultaneously. In pathology, my world, AI looks at tissue slides and learns molecular fingerprints. It can predict genetic mutations, treatment responses, even survival odds, just from patterns of color and texture on a digital image. In blood tests, algorithms can detect subtle biomarker changes that predict disease years before it shows up. This is computational pathology, the fusion of biology, and code. AI doesn't replace doctors. It augments us, gives us supervision into the hidden layers of human biology. Now let's zoom out. Our bodies produce oceans of data, what we call omics, genomics, your DNA sequence, proteomics, all the proteins your cells make, metabolomics, every molecule your metabolism produces microbiomics, the trillions of microbes that live on and inside you. Each layer tells a story, but together they form your biological signature. AI can integrate these layers, hundreds of thousands of variables, and reveal patterns that predict health trajectories. For example, by combining genomics and metabolomics, AI can identify who's likely to develop diabetes 10 years before glucose rises. That's precision medicine, not treating populations, but you. For most of history, medicine's rhythm was simple. Symptom, diagnosis, treatment. AI flips that on its head. Data, prediction, prevention. Imagine getting a monthly health map showing the probability of early cancer, cardiovascular disease, or neurodegeneration. Based on your biomarkers, sleep, diet, and microbiome, 
That's not fantasy. It's already happening in elite research centers. Soon, your doctor won't just tell you what's wrong. They'll show you what's coming and you'll have the tools to change it. That's the promise of predictive medicine, catching disease at the molecular whisper, not the clinical screen. Let's talk about one of the most exciting breakthroughs, liquid biopsy. Instead of cutting tissue, we can now read disease from a few drops of blood. How? Dying cells shed fragments of DNA into the bloodstream. We call it cell-free DNA. AI can analyze these fragments to detect early cancer, monitor treatment response, or even catch organ rejection after transplants. It's like having a real-time molecular report card. In the next decade, your annual physical won't be a stethoscope. It'll be a blood draw that tells your biological future. AI isn't staying in the lab. It's coming into your home. Your smartwatch already measures heart rate, heart rate variability, sleep, and oxygen. Next-gen wearables will track inflammatory molecules, cortisol, even glucose in real time. AI will translate all that into actionable feedback, how your food, sleep, and stress affect your biology every single day. Think of it as biological navigation, a GPS for your health. The goal isn't to replace doctors. It's to empower you with insight between visits. When patients and algorithms collaborate, medicine becomes proactive. But let's pause because this revolution comes with responsibility. AI is only as good as the data it learns from. If the data is biased, the results can be too. So we need transparency, fairness, and oversight. And here's something even more important, empathy. AI can analyze, but it can't care. It can predict, but it can't comfort. That's why the future of medicine isn't AI versus doctors. It's AI plus doctors who stay deeply human. The best medicine of the future will combine machine precision with human compassion. Picture this. You wake up. Your wearable detects subtle shifts in your physiology, a hint of inflammation or early stress. It adjusts your nutrition plan. Your AI assistant explains why your microbiome changed. Your doctor sees the same data and checks in before symptoms start. This is intelligent biology, medicine that adapts to you in real time. Soon every cell, every molecule, every heartbeat will become part of a feedback loop that keeps you in balance. We'll go from treating illness to cultivating health. AI isn't replacing medicine, it's revealing medicine's full potential. For the first time in history, we can see the entire story of a human body, not just the final chapter. We can detect, predict, and prevent before suffering begins. And that's the goal, not immortality, but a life of clarity, energy, and time. If this vision excites you, share this video because the future of health isn't built in hospitals. It's built in knowledge and it starts with us. I'm Dr. Amin Hedayat, pathologist, dermatopathologist, and assistant clinical professor of medicine. And this is the new science of intelligent medicine. I'll see you in the next video.